Good evening, folks. The sun says hello, and welcome to Solar Cycle 25. As always, these cycles began as a slumber to a slow rise, and eventually, a year or two later, the sun is kicking into gear for sunspot maximum. We're 20 months into the cycle, right on time, and while the sun won't reach cycle maximum for at least another year, we've got big booms and they're aimed at Earth. In what will unquestionably be the best test of Earth's magnetic field so far this sunspot cycle, a plasma filament running through the southern sunspot areas began lifting, then broke through the arching umbral fields above the spots, triggering the cascade of chaotic events that led to an X-ray explosion the size of Jupiter at the large southern active region. The eruption reached up and did touch the X-class flare range, literally scraping the underside of the floor. We're going to watch the ionospheric excitement from the solar flare here on the D region absorption prediction. Now obviously that flash is the flare disruption centered over the noon position under the sun. But then, watch the polar regions light up. This happens during geomagnetic storms, but also during polar radiation storms, high energy proton particle events that are triggered by solar flares, and those don't take days to arrive. Those come along the interplanetary magnetic field, sometimes moments after the flare light is seen. This event was the lowest level polar proton storm and should be descending soon in the coming hours unless there is further flaring. Now as we watch for further flaring, we'll have to take a look at that eruption itself and the CME that is certainly coming with it. Both the bulk plasma and the shock wave emission tell us a CME is coming, and stereo is updating to show a wide north-south expanse to the CME. Earth is off to the right in this frame. SOHO is updating as well to show a nearly full halo CME, and as NASA's Enlil spiral is showing, like NOAA's will tomorrow I'm sure, there is a CME expected to impact Earth, according to this model, early on October 31st, Halloween. No reason to think that forecast is horrible, and no freaking out without more flares for the one-two punch, but we could very well see a KP7 or 8 from this eruption impact. That's a level 3 or 4 geomagnetic storm out of 5. More analysis in the morning. We'll see you then. Be safe, everyone.